the next stage is to press the casing between uh, some paper in order to dry it out as much as possible or remove as much of the liquid before leaving it to dry in either a low temperature oven, a drying cabinet or just a warm sunny window still by a radiator perhaps. You can see quite a lot of water being expressed as you would imagine pressing it. And it is of course at this stage where you can shape the casing to form your final dried shape. If anything the low fat casing is a little bit more crumbly, just feels it as I'm pressing it. Um, but I don't know if that will be borne out in reality. They're very similar. I've just broken some off there, look. Well, let's uh, cut a crude shape for drying. Not sure I've really compacted it enough, but we'll have a go. Uh, low fat, good for the heart. Not much of a crumbly heart there, really. Press that together. Form another shape. Still got a lot of fluid in it, it's too wet really, you should press it some more. It's quite needy, quite pliable. Same on this side. So rather thinner, got rather more spread out on this side. But then again, that might be apt, high fat. Ruben Hart. And again. Take the pieces and cover them together. So there we are, two lots of casein precipitated from milk. We'll leave them to dry out and see what happens.